Hi everybody, Sarah with Happy Body. I'm a little bit late today, but I have a really, really exciting thing to share with you today. I have a well, green smoothie. I love green smoothies, but I'm going to do something really crazy today to prove a point and to just try something really fun. I don't know. We'll see how I feel after I had this crazy thing. So today I'm going to make my favorite green smoothie as always. Well, so I have this green smoothie challenge and it gives over, it gives 21 different green smoothie recipes if you just get sick of the green smoothie recipe you have right now. But I have this go-to recipe that I use every morning because I have all these superfoods and lots of green stuff. And I'll be honest, I know I'm a dietitian, but I am not crazy about just eating a bunch of raw broccoli. I don't love to just eat plain kale. So that's why I like to do a green smoothie every morning because it's my way of getting my multivitamin in every morning. Okay, so this is just a, my little cheat thing I do, but I always have frozen broccoli or spinach. And I right now I just have a bunch of frozen broccoli and that's what I'm gonna use as my leafy green. When you are making green smoothies, it's really important to make sure that you trade up your different leafy greens because these leafy greens, they actually have toxins to help defend themselves in the wild so that they don't have predators that eat these leafy greens. And so if you have only one leafy green, so let's say you have a spinach green smoothie every morning, then you can actually get a concentration of the toxins from that spinach. So it's really important to make sure that you switch up your leafy greens. So I have broccoli today. And you might think, broccoli, what the heck? That's crazy. But another trick of mine, I always add lemon juice because when you add a citrus flavor, it takes out the bitterness of your leafy greens. And when I use broccoli, I tend, I use extra water because, um, whoa, way too much broccoli. <laughs> I'll have a broccoli smoothie, but I'm not gonna go crazy. Okay, that look good, we're good, we're happy. Ariel's not going insane. Okay, so now that I have, I am gonna add more broccoli. I keep going back and forth. Okay, I have my broccoli, and now I'm going to add my sweeteners. I try to keep my sweeteners low. I always try to have a protein, a fat, and a carb at every meal, and so that's gonna help you be a fat-burning machine, and you need your protein, fats, and carbs for certain reasons. Like your body needs carbohydrates to refuel your body. Your brain needs at least 130 carbohydrates a day. Crazy fat. So I do about a fourth a cup of blueberries. I love blueberries with chocolate protein powder. I don't know what it is, but it's really good. I love it. Okay. And then I have, I have some strawberries. Okay. I use a spoon. And so I'm doing about a half a cup of frozen berries. Okay, strawberries are actually pretty low in carbs. So they're pretty low in sugar and they help sweeten and bulk up your smoothie. Okay, next I have just about a quarter of a banana. So this whole smoothie is, a, is about less than, I'd say it's about 25 carbohydrates. And so that's a good amount. When you are doing a protein, fat, and carb for every meal, you want to get about 20 to 30 grams of protein per meal and close to 10 grams of fat. And I try to shoot around 20 to 30 grams of carbohydrates. I had a big workout this morning. I did a lot of cardiovascular hit. And so I'm actually going to increase my protein and my carbohydrates. But I actually already had turkey and some almonds earlier because I was starving and I couldn't wait till 12 to have this smoothie. Okay, so we have our broccoli, we have our our bananas, blueberries, bananas, oh, strawberries. And so now what I'm gonna add is, I have some superfoods that I'm super crazy about. I have no affiliation with them, but I, I love them. And they make, so this is what I use, it's spirulina. It is a micro, it's a microalgae. It smells like fish, I'll be honest. 
but it's really good for your joints because it's high in antioxidants and it has a ton of chlorophyll. And chlorophyll actually takes up the toxins out of your bloodstream. So it helps your joint pain. So I combine this with turmeric and ginger root and it really helps my knees because I get bad knees from jumping around so much, especially chasing my kid. So I used to start out, I started out with about half a teaspoon at first, but now that I'm more used to it, I do about a full table, a full teaspoon, not a full tablespoon. I think it would die. <laughs> it's not the best smelling stuff, but it's so good for you. And I can tell a difference in my energy and I, I can even see it in my eyes and my skin and my hair. Okay, so next I'm going to add a little turmeric. So turmeric is a, it's like ginger root and they've been used for hundreds of years because it is this root that helps with anti-inflammation and so this is going to really help with your knees. So I do spirulina, turmeric, and I add ginger root. So I'm just going to add like a teaspoon. So you can, you'll see this in curry dishes. It's kind of an Indian an Indian spice and it's a little more it's also a little bitter but once again I'm gonna add that lemon juice which will help take out that bitter flavor and my last thing I have some ginger root so I always buy this organic just so that I can uh, be free of the pesticides that come with it and so just with any vegetable if you're always if you're trying to figure out if you should go organic or not if you have to peel something, then you can think of that peel or that skin as a protective layer against pesticides. And so if it has a peel, you don't have to go organic, but if it doesn't have a peel, it's better to go organic because you're going to eat the skin and you're eating the skin where the pesticides have been on. So hopefully that helps. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I also hated ginger root when I first started eating ginger root, but I found a secret. When you take off the skin part, it really takes off the, bit, the bitter flavor. And I can eat a lot more ginger root when I have that skin taking off. So right now I'm just taking off the outer layer. And once again, I'm gonna add some lemon juice to it. I wish I had fresh, I don't have fresh with me right now, but I still wanted to make this smoothie for you today. So right now I just have it from Concentrate. This definitely isn't as good as just um, a lemon squeeze, but it still, it still has, you know, it's still made from lemon juice. So I'm gonna do actually three because of this secret thing I'm going to add. This is why today is so crazy. Okay. So I have, I'm gonna open up, Ooh, here we go. I'm all over the place. Okay. I have an avocado seed. And this is kind of nuts because you think, okay, um, I have four avocado seeds. I'll use this one. I don't want to bend over and pick that one up. Okay. Avocado seeds, seeds, this is a healthy seed. People think, oh, this isn't edible. But avocado seeds are actually edible and they have... 70% of the amino acids found in the rest of the avocado are actually contained in the seed. And this can actually help if you have a slow thyroid. And if you have a slow thyroid or a bad thyroid, that can actually decrease your metabolism, which will make you gain weight. And so these are actually packed with amazing fats that's going to help you um, actually lose weight. So. I'm going to try an avocado seed for the very first time, and I couldn't find the hammer, so I found the absolute craziest thing in the garage, and you're going to laugh at me. Ta-da! It's huge. I washed it, and my avocado seed is in a baggie, so I'm going to smash it. So, here we go. I'm not very good at this kind of stuff. Oh! I'm going to do it again. <laughs> I did it! Okay, I split it in half. Okay, now this is to see if Blintech is as, as amazing as I think it is. Okay, so that's what an avocado inside looks like, if you're curious. I never knew. I mean, I don't split avocados with huge sledgehammers all the time. 
So this is going to be my healthy fat. And that's the whole purpose of this video is to tell you about healthy fats. You have to eat a healthy fat in order to absorb these key vitamins, vitamin A, D, E, and K are fat soluble vitamins and your body can't absorb them unless they have fat that you eat these vitamins with. So if you're eating these wonderful leafy greens, but you don't eat it with a fat, then your body's not going to be able to absorb those wonderful nutrients and vitamins that your body needs. So I always make sure that I have a healthy fat with my green smoothies. Okay, obviously crazy avocado today. That's not usual at all. But you can do other things like almonds. Almonds are a fantastic healthy fat. They're higher in monounsaturated fats, which is really good for your heart. Same with walnuts. And these have actually been linked with helping with brain health, even Alzheimer's disease. And if you don't have any kind of fancy nuts, you can do like a natural peanut butter. When you are looking for a peanut butter, I look for the least amount of ingredients as possible. This one just has roasted peanuts with a little bit of salt. I try to just find peanut butters with just, with just the peanuts because you don't need the palm oil and the sugar. That's just going to make your natural healthy peanut butter not so healthy. But let's see, other sources, you could obviously just use the avocado fruit, but you can also do like chia seeds. You've heard me talk about these. These are really high in antioxidants too, and they're really good for your skin. And so that's a good source of healthy fat. And there's also flax seeds. So I actually ate almonds before I ate, before I'm going to eat this smoothie, but I want to try this avocado seed. I have heard that they are bitter. So I'm actually going to add a little bit of extra lemon juice to calm down that bitterness of it. Okay, now I'm going to add some ice cubes because I like my smoothie cold. And I'm using this super fancy cup, right? I had herbal tea in this the other day and I was, I loved it. That's a new thing for me too. I'm not usually into herbal tea, but I've been trying it lately and it's really good. Especially when you're doing a five day happy body, be healthy challenge, and you really want some soda. So herbal tea is a great way to calm down cravings if you need soda or if you want a treat. That's been really helpful for me. Okay, so now I'm going to add a chocolate protein powder. I usually am, um, I usually keep to a pretty low dairy diet. Whey protein is a dairy byproduct, and so I this is the only dairy I eat throughout the day. I've tried different vegan proteins, but I haven't found one I like. So I'm totally down. If anybody knows an awesome vegan protein powder, let me know because I am listening. Because I tried one a couple of weeks ago. It tasted like chalk, which isn't something I want to pay for exactly. Okay, cinnamon. I add cinnamon. Cinnamon is an, a natural sugar enhance. Oh, it's a natural sweetener enhancer. And so and actually can help with blood sugar control. And as many of you know, I am a type one diabetic, so I'm all about stabilizing my blood sugar, which everybody should be, because that's gonna affect your moods too, and your insulin, and storing body fat. So, okay, we're good. Cinnamon is a good thing. Okay, I don't think that's enough water, so I'm gonna add a little bit more water, because broccoli takes extra water. Okay, so, I'm going to do squats as this is going, and you can do them with me, and you should, because whenever you have a second during the day, if you're microwaving something or making a smoothie, you should do some kind of quick exercise to get your heart rate up, because that's going to help you. A little burst of energy are going to help you with fat loss. Okay, here we go. I'm excited and scared for this avocado seed. <laughs>
You don't have to put avocado seeds. I'm just trying to be, I, I'm just goofy. So I saw it on the internet. I was like, oh, that would be awesome. I'm going to try that. Okay, here we go. Ta da! My super awesome little mug. Okay, here we go. You ready? Hmm. I can taste a little bit of, tiny bit of bitterness, but it's not bad at all. I can't really taste it that much. So, that's kind of cool. I'm going to have some more avocado. Mm hmm Okay, if your if your smoothie is ever not sweet enough, you can always add extra blueberries or a little bit more banana or a little bit more protein powder. That's gonna help sweeten it overall. Also, always that cinnamon is a great natural um, sugar sweetness enhancer. So, and also of course, remember that citrus to make the bitterness go down. So I'm gonna enjoy this. Thank you for tuning in, and if you have any specific questions or you want me to talk about something that or make a video on, just you can just put it in the comments below. So I am doing a five-day healthy challenge right now, where we're trying to what we do is we eat healthy, dairy-free or at least low dairy, gluten-free meals, and we focus on fruits and vegetables, and we cut out sugar and cut out soda. So it's been an awesome experience and I will see you next time and thanks for joining me. We'll see you later.